We didn't talk about uh, weak core causing back pain, Pete. Yeah, no, there's no, there's really no good evidence for that. You know, the interesting thing, because it's good to be strong. And so, you know, we have these discussions with patients all the time and they go, oh, you know, I think it's because my core is weak and that's why I have a back problem. And the problem with that thought is that people in, end up over contracting their core. So what, what's the core good for, right? So we go, what is it good for? It's like saying it's good to have a strong hand grip. You need a strong hand grip to pick up a heavy weight, but you don't want a strong hand grip when you're writing. You want a soft hand grip when you're writing because otherwise you get writer's cramp and it's very painful. In the same way with the core muscles, they're good for sit-ups, they're good for push-ups, they're good for planks, they're good for pushing, they're good for controlling your body over your head. If you're hitting you know, a tennis racket, you need a strong core to drive the ball. But they're not good for sitting and standing and for lying and for bending or even much for, lift, for moderate lifting. 